Today is April 10th, the day the first Beatle announced he was leaving the band. Welcome back to On This Day. Today's date is April 10th, 2023. It is the 100th day of the year. You got 265 days left in 2023. It's the 15th Monday in the 15th week and the 22nd day of spring, 72 days left until summer. There are no special holidays today, so we'll make up our own. Today is make sure you like and comment this video. Liking and commenting a video really helps its reach. When YouTube sees people are interacting with a video, they push it out to more people. When they push it out to more people, more people view it and more people subscribe to the channel and the channel grows and we continue to keep making these videos. Yes, that was a shameless plug, but there's no holidays day. I had to come up with something. All right, let's see what else April 10th has given us. 1845, the first issue of Scientific American magazine was published in New York City. This magazine is still in circulation today and it covers a wide range of scientific and technological topics. 1912, the Titanic set sail on its maiden voyage from Southampton, England to New York City. The Titanic was the largest and most luxurious passenger liner of its time, but it famously sank on April 15th, 1912 after hitting an iceberg. Remember the movie Titanic? Oh my God, that was so amazing at the time. Now you look at the graphics they used on it and you're thinking, you know, this wasn't that great. I like the story. 1925, The Great Gatsby, a novel by F. Scott Fitzgerald, was published in New York City. The novel is now considered a classic of American literature and is widely studied in schools and universities. I think I've read it twice. First time I was forced to read it so I didn't enjoy it. The second time I read it, I was pulling in a guard shift for like two weeks. You know, I think I had the night shift for like two weeks on this gate that nobody ever came to at the backyard of Fort Ord. That's what they called the back training area. They called it the backyard. And I got to admit, I really enjoyed it. 1932, German scientist Karl Bosch was awarded the Nobel Prize in chemistry for his work on the synthesis, on the synthesis, on the synth, on the, on the synth, oh, fuck. On the synthesis, oh fuck, synthesis, synthesis of ammonia. I have tried 10 times to say synthesis and I can't get it out today. It's just one of those words. We're going to have to move on. Here it is, synthesis. Bosch's discovery was a major breakthrough in the field of industrial chemistry and led to the development of modern fertilizer. 1963, the nuclear test ban treaty was signed in Moscow by the United States, the Soviet Union, and the United Kingdom. The treaty banned testing of nuclear weapons in the atmosphere, underwater, and in outer space. Makes sense? 1970, Paul McCartney announces that he was leaving the Beatles, effectively breaking up the band. <laughs> 1970s, the Beatles were one of the most successful and influential bands in history, and their breakup marked the end of an era in popular music. Now, this one's always been up for debate, even though there's been different stories from the band members themselves. Before I get into the deep dive, Paul McCartney was the first one to announce he was leaving. But his story is, and I saw this just recently in an interview, that they were getting ready to practice. They were in the studio one time, and John Lennon came in and said, I'm done. I'm quitting the Beatles. Paul McCartney said he was shocked, but not terrified terribly shocked because they had all been growing apart in musically and as people. But Paul McCartney was the first one to announce it. Anyway, the Beatles are widely regarded as one of the greatest bands in the history of music. However, despite their insane success, the band eventually broke up, much to the disappointment of their fans in the world. The reason for their breakup is complex, multifaceted, but they can be traced back to several key factors. One of the most significant factors that led to the breakup of the Beatles was the creative differences between the members. As the band members grew older and their individual music tastes evolved, they began to pursue their own projects and interests. John Lennon was doing his own thing. Paul McCartney was kind of looking more into like rock and roll instead of that pop rock and roll they had been in. George Harrison was following this cultural music journey and who knows what Ringo Starr was doing. Anyway, these differences led to disagreements about the direction of the band's music and the amount of creative control each member had. For example, Paul McCartney wanted the Beatles to continue to be a touring band while John Lennon wanted to focus more on experimental and avant-garde music. These differences ultimately proved to be a hurdle they couldn't get over. Another factor that contributed to the Beatles' breakup was personal tensions between the band members. Over the years, there were numerous disagreements and conflicts between the Beatles, some of which were fueled by substance abuse and personal relationships. For example, there's a well-known rift between John Lennon and Paul McCartney, which became increasingly pronounced as the band's breakup approached. The Beatles' financial situation also played a role in the breakup. Despite their enormous success, the band members were not always happy with the financial arrangements they had with their management
management and record label. This led to disputes over royalties and profits, which ultimately eroded the trust and camaraderie that had once existed among the band members. Finally, the Beatles breakup was also influenced by external factors such as public pressure and changing cultural norms. By the late 1960s, the Beatles had become cultural icons and were subjected to intense scrutiny from the media and their fans. I mean, the world was changing when almost everything you did was perfect for about eight years and now there's other bands out there taking your interests away. This pressure combined with increasing fragmentation of countercultural movements made it increasingly difficult for the band to stay together. You also have the stories about Yoko Ono breaking up the band and just who knows? Who really knows what actually happened with this relationship and this band other than the four members, I should say the two remaining members. Sadly, John Lennon was killed in 1980 by a weirdo with a gun, and sadly, George Harrison passed away from cancer, I believe, in 2001. There's a special on the Beatles on Apple TV. If you have Apple TV, it's definitely worth watching. 1998, the Good Friday Agreement was signed in Northern Ireland, bringing an end to decades of violence and conflicts between Catholics and Protestants. The agreement established a power-sharing government in Northern Ireland and created the framework for peace and reconciliation. 2019, scientists reveal the first ever image of a black hole captured by the Event Horizon Telescope. The black hole, located in the center of galaxy Messier 87, is over 50 million light years away from Earth. And it's about 6.5 billion times larger than the sun. That's mind blowing. I think the Earth can go into the sun a million times or more. And the sun can go into this black hole 6.5 billion times. And we're one of billions of people on that little rock that can go into the sun billions of times just kind of shows we're kind of insignificant in the grand scheme of things. But anyway, the discovery was a major breakthrough in our understanding of the universe and confirmed Einstein's theory of general relativity. Premiered on April 10th, 2015, Daredevil. This was good. After Ben Affleck's version of Daredevil, the movie sucked. This series came out on Netflix and it was pretty good. If you ever get a chance, watch this one. It's pretty good. They're reviving it and they're bringing it to Disney+. Plus. I think that's happening this year. But it starred Charlie Cox, Rosario Dawson, Deborah Ann Wolf, Vincent D'Onofrio, Eldon Henson, and a few other people. It was a pretty good series, though. Born on April 10th, 1992, Daisy Ridley, the British actress who got famous in 2015 for her role as Rey in Star Wars The Force Awakens. That same year, she also played the character Hannah in the film Scrawl. Her television credits include guest spots and episodes of Casualty, Younger, and Silent Witness. Those are all British shows, I believe. She was also in the remake of Murder on the Orient Express. A lot of people didn't like that movie. I thought it was pretty good. Died on April 10th, 1962, Stuart Sutcliffe. This is kind of strange. He was the Beatles' first bassist who was credited, along with John Lennon, with creating the band's name. He also pursued a solo career and was a painter. He met John Lennon through a mutual friend and tutored him in art. He attended Liverpool College of Art. He had left the band and he was studying in Germany and he began experiencing severe headaches and acute sensitivity to light. According to his girlfriend, some of the headaches left him temporarily blind. In February of 1962, Sutcliffe collapsed during an art class in Hamburg, Germany. After he collapsed again, he had seen some doctors and they couldn't figure out what was wrong with him. And he saw some specialists and nobody could understand what was wrong with him. And they never figured it out. But on April 10th, he collapsed again. They took him to the hospital, but he died before he arrived. The cause of death was a brain hemorrhage, specifically a ruptured aneurysm, resulting in cerebral paralysis. He was only 21 years old. The cause of the aneurysm is unknown, although some authors of a book on the Beatles said the cause of death was probably due to an earlier head injury. He may have been either kicked in the head or thrown headfirst against a brick wall during an attack outside Lantham Hall in Liverpool, England in January of 1961. During the attack, he suffered a fractured skull. He refused medical attention at the time and failed to keep up with x-ray appointments. So they figured it just finally burst on him. Too bad. All right, that's today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you got some information out of it. Now go out, have a great day, and be nice to each other.